The Runaway Princess Princess Anna doesn't want to get married, so she runs away, disguised, under a donkey skin clock. Where will she go? And can she make her own happy ending? Find out in this retelling of the classic French fairy tale. Chapter 1 The Happy King There was once a happy king. He lived with his queen and her little sister in a magnificent mountain palace. The palace was filled with treasures and wonders. The most wonderful of all was a magic donkey who could turn straw into gold. But the king's happiness did not last, for his dear queen fell ill. The doctor said she didn't have long to live. Promise me something. She begged her husband. Anything, vowed the king. Don't marry again, she whispered, until you find a wife as good as me, and then she died. Now the king's heart grew cold. As the years went by, people begged him to remarry. Who will rule after you? You need a child. But he always refused. There is no one as good as my queen, he snapped, and so he grew old and cruel, with only Anna, the queen's sister, for company. Chapter 2 A Proposal Princess Anna was much younger than the queen, but she grew up to be just as beautiful and even more kind. In time, even the king noticed how lovely she was. Now. I can't keep my promise, he decided. Anna's heart sunk. She couldn't marry his cruel old man, but she was too afraid to tell him. Then she had an idea. I could never marry without a dress as beautiful as the sky, she said. The king snapped his fingers. Fetch my best dressmakers, he ordered. That night, the king gave Anna a dress of shimmering blue embroidered all over with silky clouds. Now you can marry me. Anna thought quickly. Not without a dress as beautiful as the moon, she replied. Again, the king snapped his fingers. Get those dressmakers back here, he said. The next day, there was a dress of shining silver trimmed with glowing moonstones. Now you can marry me. Not without a dress as beautiful as the sun, pleaded the poor princess. So the king snapped his fingers again. The next day, there was a dress of glittering gold scattered with scarlet rubies. Now! Anna was in despair. There's one more thing, she pleaded. I'd like a clock of donkey skin and not any old skin. It must be from a magic donkey. The next day, the king presented Anna with a shaggy donkey skin clock. We'll be married tomorrow, he told her. Anna bowed her head. There's only one thing left to do, she decided. Run away! When the king was in bed, she bundled up her dresses, put on the clock, and crept downstairs. Then she smeared her face with ash and disappeared into the night. Chapter 3 Princess Donkey Skin No one took any notice of the shabby girl in the donkey skin clock. She walked on and on, far beyond the king's lands until she came to a farmhouse by a forest. The farmer's wife looked curiously at Anna. What's your name? she asked. Anna didn't answer. I'll call you Donkey Skin, laughed the woman. If you're looking for work, we need a girl to look after the geese. Donkey Skin worked hard. The farmer and his wife grew very fond of her. They never guessed their goose girl was a runaway princess. Sometimes, 
as she herded the geese and heard hunting horns in the forest. One day, she spotted a handsome prince among the trees. She gazed shyly at the prince. Then she looked sadly at her tattered clock. That evening, she hid in her room and took out the sky blue dress. The prince was riding home when he spotted the farmhouse. I'll stop and ask for a drink, he decided. One of the windows glowed with a mysterious blue light. Inside, the prince saw a girl in a shimmering blue dress. She's as beautiful as the sky, he thought, losing his heart to her. Suddenly, he felt too shy to knock. He rode slowly back to his castle, dreaming about the mysterious girl. The next day, the prince sent a messenger to the farm, but there was no sign of a girl in a sky blue dress. Chapter 4 A Cake and a Ring the prince sent out messengers far and wide. None of them could find the mystery girl. Hoping against hope, the prince rode back to the farm. This time, a silver light shone from one of the windows. His heart leaped. The girl was in the kitchen, dressed in shining silver. She is as beautiful as the moon, sighed the prince. He knocked eagerly, then opened the door. Quick as flash, Anna hid leaving a cake cooling on the table. It smelled so good, the prince couldn't help taking a bite. It was deliciously sweet and soft. And then, his teeth crunched on something hard. He spat out a tiny gold ring. It's hers, he realized. It must have fallen off while she was cooking. The ring gave the prince an idea. He galloped back to his castle to make a royal decree. Hundreds of girls came to try the ring from countesses to chambermaids. It didn't fit any of them. Anna stood at the back of the great hall, wrapped in her donkey skin clock. Is there anyone else? asked the prince eventually. Just that girl in the shabby clock laughed the courtier. The prince looked into Anna's eyes. Let her try the ring, he insisted. The courtier frowned. Anna held out her hand. The ring was a perfect fit. Will you marry me? asked the prince. Yes, said Anna, letting the clock slip from her shoulders. Everyone gasped. Her dress shone with gold and rubies, filling the hall with golden light, but her golden hair and rosy cheeks shone even brighter. She is as beautiful as the sun, sighed the courtiers. The prince smiled at Anna. I knew I'd find you, he whispered happily. The wedding day was held a few days later. The prince invited royal guests from around the world. Anna invited the kind farmer and his wife. Anna told their guests her whole story. But now, I'll never run away again, she finished, gazing joyfully at her prince. <laughs>